going on everybody I got the old c10 fired up got it pulled up here i'm going to uh swap this fitting out on the fuel pump here a couple of people commented uh talking about the fitting there where's that the little blue fitting because i ended up swapping the one on the other side out because it was spraying a little bit of fuel so a couple of people commented and it makes sense to me the other side since it can't blow fuel out because it's sucking it could be sucking air and possibly making it all make all that dang racket so we're gonna swap that fitting out see if that'll uh stop the fuel pump from making all that damn noise but even if it don't it ain't gonna hurt nothing to try i'm gonna get that fitting swapped out and then we're gonna get all this junk out of the back of the truck and then we're gonna try to ease up to the car wash and get the old girl cleaned up a little bit i was gonna do this earlier this morning but as soon as i got up got shoes and all on it started freaking raining the grounds good and nasty and i gotta crawl under it and i think all my daggum tarps are wet because my dumb ass forgot to put one up somewhere i was gonna work on my daddy's ct in today but the rain came and screwed all that up so i figured if anything we can at least run this thing up to the car wash maybe and try to get her sprayed off and then depending on how the rain does tomorrow or the next couple days maybe we can get back on that rig might not fix the noise but it's worth a shot you know i mean if it is sucking air right there it could i could see it making some noise ain't gonna hurt nothing to try would it take me two minutes to swap it out so yeah if it works good if it don't oh well it didn't hurt nothing go ahead and fire back up make sure she ain't leaking All right, got our fit and swapped out. Checked all the fluids, all those are good. I even put the filter on there for everybody that's always complaining about no filter. We still ain't got no fans on here, but uh, as long as we ain't stopping, setting no red lights or nothing like that for a long time. It usually runs around 160, you know, cruising down the road, which we won't be stopping and setting no red lights or nothing. We just gotta go right into town, go through one four way, and then we'll pull up into the car wash even if we do go through town and have to stop at a red light as long as we ain't sitting there longer than 10 minutes it usually uh won't get hot so we should be good to go on that front i do have a couple electric vans but i really don't want to put them on here right now because the electrical system in this truck ain't very good and when you got a electric fuel pump running you know a couple electric fans and then if it gets dark on me, headlights too, it puts a lot of strain on the electrical system in this thing. And plus I've added a bunch of junk to it too, so that don't help either. Luckily town ain't but uh, about 10 minutes, 6-7 miles, about 7 miles from here. I guess now I'm going to try to clean the back of the truck out, and then we're going to try to ease up the car wash before it gets too dark. Sun's starting to go down, it's already after 6.30 as it is, so... We ain't got much time. I got headlights and all, but like I said, daggum electrical system is so so fragile on this thing. If we do have a electrical problem, we do have a fire extinguisher. And I got a gallon of water in the back too. Get all this damn crap out of here too. That ain't got no gas in it, so we ain't gonna be needing that. Make sure we do have some headlights and stuff just in case we do need them.
before, and that wasn't no fun. Like somebody did a little burnout right there. I wonder who the hell's doing burnouts on my road without me knowing. See if we can make it these seven miles without any problems. Went ahead and brought my tools and got a fire extinguisher, some zip ties, and some vice grips. <laughs> Just in case. That should about cover it there. But hopefully we won't have no problems. I'll just keep her in drive and let her ship out on her own. That way I won't be tempted to mash on it. So we only got, we got a little under a half a tank. So that should be enough to make us to a gas station anyhow, as long as we drive easy. It ain't even hit 160 yet. It usually stays about that temperature. So as long as we don't sit and let it idle for a while, which I mean, it can still sit and idle for a good five minutes before it'll start heating up. And even then, it you know, once it gets up to about 190 or so, it takes it another five minutes or so to start getting warm, you know, 210, 215. I'm gonna try to get it ready for cruising the coast. I ain't get to take it last year or the year before that, I don't think. Actually, I don't think I took it in about three or four years, so I'd like to take this thing to cruising the coast this year, so. Maybe we can get some stuff straightened out on it before then. It's the beginning of September now, cruising the coast comes around mid to end of October so depending on how my money's looking next month that'll depend on if we make it or not in this thing this tire cleaner stuff to start with it works pretty damn good I don't even scrub them or nothing I just spray this stuff on here let it sit for a minute and then I'll spray it off and we usually get some pretty clean I ain't trying to scrub it and all that anyhow because it's just gonna get nasty as soon as we get back to the house let it go little froggy I'm sure that ain't good for you buddy you might wanna pop off there you go <laughs> Spray her off. Well, got her sprayed off. Like I said, we didn't, I didn't scrub it or nothing, so we still got a little bit of stuff on it. You'll be able to see once it dries, but at least it ain't as nasty as it was anyhow. Plus, ain't no point in cleaning it all the way up and scrubbing the hell out of it when I'm just going to drive right through mud when I get home. But got her cleaned up a little bit anyhow. Got the back bed cleaned out. Looks a lot better than it did. It was full of oil and grease and pine straw that done started decomposing and all that good stuff. If only it looked that good all the time with some fresh paint. That's what it used to look like back in the day when it wasn't but a few years old. She was nice and clean. It had a clear coat on her. Fresh shiny black paint. But the years it took a toll on her. Plus I took a toll on her too. But at least we got her cleaned up a little bit. One thing about washing an old truck that's wore out and with no weather stripping or nothing like that. You always get your windows fogged up. All right, I guess now let's go get some gas and ease back to the house. Yeah, see, as soon as I turn my lights on, 
gas gauge goes down. Make sure they're working again. This is great now, my damn headlights ain't working. I got a new switch for this thing. Just never put it in. Mama said this thing was cursed. My headlights were working fine when I left the house. I mean, it's freaking pitch black dark too. No damn headlights. Come on now. Luckily my daddy was in town, so I gave him a call. That's him pulling up now. I guess we're gonna have to drive home with no lights. I'm just gonna ride behind him, I reckon. Hopefully we don't pass no damn cops or nothing. You wouldn't believe it, but as soon as he pulls up, I crank the truck up and try my lights and then they start working. Yeah. 